Hello friends, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use Shima layout to show loading progress before your recycler is actually populated. So with this hack we are not going to temper with our recycler view but we are just going to create a view, a Shima view just below the recycler. Yeah, so let's begin. Uh, I want you to open your project, so just open the project in which you're going to implement the Shima view. Then let's quickly design a Shima layout. So add a linear V there, then inside this linear V, I'm going to add. A linear H and another linear H and another linear H. Then I'm going to add some margin to these views which I just added. So I'm adding margin of four. You can do it as you feel like. Yeah, so here the whole idea is to create a view that that you like or probably mimics the data that you will load after so let me try to make this width 100 and its height 100 so now we need to color these views let's give them some background color so the color should be uh, slightly Faint to produce uh, that nice shimmer view. There we go. So, for consistency, yeah, I would prefer you just choose one color. Okay, so we are done with designing the view. Now we need the Shima library. To get the Shima library, I'll go to the official Facebook Git repo where they host their Shima library. So just open your browser. Then go to facebook.github.io slash Shima. Or you can just search for this or click the link in the description that I'll leave. Yeah. So once you're here, you need to import the dependency. That's the first thing. So if you're in Android Studio, you're going to copy everything from implementation all the way. But if you're in Sketch, we just copy from com.facebook all the way to the end. Now let's import the library. Go to menu, go to local library, and uh, let's use DX for Dexa. You can use D8 if you want just paste the dependency here like that then hit start so this will search for the library and it will download it and dex it for you then we just need to enable it go back let's put another layout linear 11 let's convert it to shimmer layout save then now we need to get this view which is a linear layout this is a parent layout with child views inside then drag it inside the shima layout so linear 11 is my shima layout Okay, so once you've done this, you can run your project and you should see your shimmer working. So let's run this and see what we get. Then we open it. Okay, so there we go. You can see our shimmer layout there. It's actually working. So now what we need to do is make it disappear and stop when uh, 
the data on our recycler view has been loaded so to do this let's go back so we want when child added it disappears so to determine when we have data in our recycler especially if you're getting the data from firebase you can add the gone block here this means we are adding children to our list map in short the list map is no longer empty so we make our loading disappear because we have got content in the recycler then we can also stop it stop the shimmer there so the code here at the bottom is the one which we can use to control start shimmer or stop shimmer so just copy this then so paste the code here then change the view name to the name of your shimmer layout so my shimmer layout is linear 11 then we want it to stop linear layout stop shimmer okay so once our data is loaded our shimmer view is stopped and we set it to go on so that it doesn't occupy any space let's run it now we are done with our project so just pay attention now the shimmer layout is going to disappear when our data is loaded There we go. So the data for the recycler has been loaded and we can see that our shimmer view has also gone and has been stopped so that uh, we don't face memory leaks. Okay, we are done for this tutorial. I hope you find it helpful for showing loading in your apps or using it for anything that you'd want. Shimmer is quite an interesting library.